Welcome to Mikon's Hardware. In this video I'm going to talk about Soyo B550M motherboard and this is one of the cheapest B550 motherboards from AliExpress. What's so important about the B550 chipset is that it's the only chipset for the AM4 platform that supports PCI Express 4.0 for the primary PCI Express x16 slot and for the M.2 slot to install SSDs. This particular motherboard was selected by one of the Hidden Gem Hunt contest winners and right now the motherboard is already on the way to him, so I don't have it on my hands, but I have conducted all the tests and I have also used this motherboard for my Ryzen 5 5600 benchmarks. So, let's start with a brief motherboard specification. Soya B550M comes with the B550 chipset, obviously. It supports AMD Ryzen 3, 4 and 5000 CPUs. We have two DDR4 memory slots on the motherboard. Then we have four USB 3 ports, two of which are on the rear panel and two are going to the front panel. And we have eight USB 2 ports, four for the rear panel and four for the front panel. We also have four SATA 3 ports and then we have two PCI Express X16 connectors. The first primary one is PCI Express 4.0 X16 for the graphics card and the second one is PCI Express 3.0 X4 even though physically it is X16. This one is connected to the chipset. Additionally, we also have a PCI Express X1 and this one is also PCI Express 3.0, so you can install additional expansion cards such as a fast Wi-Fi. M.2 slot is only one, but it is PCI Express 4.0 X4. Then we have a simple gigabit Ethernet adapter and audio codec from Realtek. In terms of VRM, the specification you can see on your screen, I can't really say much. The VRM gets the job done with Ryzen 5 5600, and I don't think we will have any problems even with Ryzen 9, unless of course you will push your CPU to the very limit. Additionally, there are four 4-pin PWM fan headers and one 4-pin RGB header. The RGB header I did not test because I don't have any RGB devices. With this Soyo B550M motherboard, I went through my standard motherboard checklist and I have to say that most of the things on the motherboard work as they should. So instead of focusing on everything I have tested, I will just tell you what's not working or what is disappointing. Yet I need to mention that PCI Express 4.0 indeed works on this motherboard. It works for the PCI Express X16 slot, the primary one, and it also works for the M.2 slot, uh, where SSD is connected to the CPU with PCI Express 4.0 speed. Of course, if your CPU actually supports PCI Express 4.0. So, in terms of disappointments, everything starts with the smart fan function. Smart fan works only for two fan headers and the other two are not monitored and not controlled. And just like with any other Chinese motherboard I have tested, we cannot control fan speed of three pin fans. Only four pin PWM fans can be adjusted. Then the sleep mode on the motherboard unfortunately does not work. And even though you can use ECC UDIMS with the Soyo B550 motherboard, the ECC function is not enabled. So you can install ECC UDIMS, but you will still not get the memory correction if something goes wrong. So the motherboard is not ideal if you plan to use it in some sort of a server or a NAS device. It is also disappointing to see that PCI Express buffication is not possible with this motherboard. The motherboard temperature sensors are also a bit off. Even though there is a sensor that displays some sort of a temperature, the reported value is way too low and I'm not sure what exactly it reports. Measuring with my external thermometer, I can see that the VRAM and the heatsink are heating much higher than what is reported. On the other side, the CPU temperature and the CPU power consumption seems to be reported correctly. And that's basically everything I can tell about this Soyo B550M motherboard. The quality seems to be decent, I did not detect any critical issues, most of the functions work, and if the price is right, then I can recommend Soyo B550M from AliExpress. Right now the motherboard costs about 60-65 years plus VAT plus sometimes they add shipping, so for this price, my score for the motherboard would be between 6 and 7 out of 10.
I would say that for the same money, very often you can find a better deal on your local market. But if it's not the case, Soya B550M is a good alternative. Sure, we do not have a fully functional smart fan, sleep mode does not work, and we get only 1 gigabit Ethernet networking. But we get PCI Express 4.0, we have enough USB ports, we have SATA ports, and we also have two PCI Express X16 slots in addition to PCI Express X1 to install all possible expansion cards. Thank you.